Hi, welcome to Adobe Illustrator Classroom and Book Tutorials. I'll be doing a lesson six specifically on the live paint section, which deals with using the live paint bucket tool. Now we'll be opening up our file over here in Adobe Illustrator. So file open. So we go to lesson six, lesson six start to AI and we open this. So now what we have here is this uh, pre-made greeting card which we'll paint in. Now first of all what we do is that we gotta just save this as under the word greeting card.ai. Okay, press OK, use use the default options. Now what we start off first is that we use the selection tool and select the three flowers here. Then we come over to object live paint to make this into a live paint object group. Next we come over to the, we got to do a live paint. So what we got to do is we got to use this yellow orange color here. Oops, sorry, not yet. Let's undo. Okay, and what we got to do is that we're going to double click it and we got to come over to here to this live paint group here. So we're going to isolation mode and we got to go over to the live paint bucket and notice what happens here is that it actually highlights or colors the different outlines. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to choose the yellow orange color and I'm going to over here. Notice the color has changed. Now notice as we go along we move our mouse paint bucket tool over it actually highlights the regions where the paint will actually be filled. So we're going to move on to the colors over here which will be about uh, yellow color now when I come over here I can actually instead of coming all the way over here what I can do is that I can I can actually use the left and right arrow keys to shift my colors from according to the swatch palette so I'm gonna come here and paint this one paint this one I'm gonna paint this light pink and bright pink now notice now if I deselect okay now notice now there is there are black outlines over on this side here. So what can I do to change it now? Um, okay, I've got paint strokes here, but if it's not painted on, notice when I move my paint bucket over here, it doesn't change or anything. But I'm gonna double click the paint fill uh, live paint tool, and I'm gonna choose paint strokes, and I'm gonna come over here. Now notice now when I move over here, it actually changed the brush so I'm going to use the left arrow key to choose the no stroke uh, option and I'm going to just click here and I'm going to click over here and notice now there's no stroke just for this segment over here okay so that's what we've got here and let's pan our our artboard over here and notice there is another flower here so I'm going to select it and then I'm going to choose copy copy and then I'm going to come back here and then I'm going to double click the light pink group here and I'm going to do edit paste move this over here and I'm going to go back to my paint paint bucket tool and notice it is still highlights over here so what I can do to come over here now is choose my different color here so I'm going to choose the green color. Okay, so there's a lighter one and I'm going to choose this one here. And notice I still want to remove this stroke here. So again, I come over here, choose the uh, no stroke here and I'm going to click over here. And notice now there is no stroke on this side here. Now, after we've colored our flowers here, notice I can actually move it around and the colors actually follow the object. I can also use the direct selection tool and I can zoom in. Notice I can zoom in and I can come over here and then I can move this and the colors will also follow the outline strokes provided. Now what else can I do with this? Now there's another tool here. Okay. Uh, what I can now notice if I go to the layers uh, panel here, I can choose, uh, there's a word happy birthday, but what I want to do is to put a white background here. So what I'm going to do now is come back over here 
and I'm going to select this uh, live pane group here, double click it, come to this line segment tool, I'm going to draw a line over here, anchor, I'm going to make sure it's white color by the way, and I'm going to draw a line all the way from here to here, pressing the shift key to make sure it stays in a straight line, and I do not touch the, I do not bridge the gap here, okay. Now, this is a demonstration of the gap filling abilities. I'm going to come over here again, same thing. I'm going to come over here to path, press the shift key, and I'm going to touch the path over here. Now, what the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the paint to bucket tool. Now, notice what happens here. It actually highlights the area where the paint is going to be filled. So, I'm just going to show you what, what's happening here. I'm going to choose a white color, and I'll paint it. Notice it all becomes white there, which is what we don't want to do. So, let's undo. So what we got to do is kind of get this gap, consider the paint not to consider this gap as a way for, to, for the paint to fill in. So I'm going to come over here, object, live paint, and I'm going to choose gap options, and I'm going to choose medium gaps, and OK. Now notice now over here, the paint does, says that this part will not have any paint, so I'm going to come here and then paint this area over here. Uh -huh. So that's how we do that part. Now what else can we do? Okay, now we can actually do this thing, one more thing, which is called the Live Paint Selection Tool. Now the Live Paint Selection Tool means, okay, I'm going to deselect everything here, and I'm going to select this part here, and I'm going to press the Shift key and select the bottom part as well. And I'm going to fill it with this gradient, gradient, uh, fill, but notice there is the gradient is effectively put on both sides separately. What we want to have is a gradient that starts out from the center and goes out and overlaps both these areas. So what we're going to do is we'll come to the gradient tool over here, come here, and then we just got to drag out over, here, and that's it. So now the gradient is over there. So let's deselect everything, and notice the gradient comes out from both sides here. And I'm going to exit the live paint mode, turn on the test layer, and we are done.